I do apologize if the, uh, the quality of the video is not the best. I'm actually doing this on my phone. But it got me thinking. I was on the internet the other day and I was scrolling through and I saw this thing called Stadia. And I thought, well, what the hell is Stadia? Um, so I've done some research on it very, very briefly. And basically what Stadia is, it's a Google platform and they're going to make it like their own like console. Now I heard rumors that they were teaming up with Sega, but I just think that was just a rumor. Um, but basically what it is, say for example, you see a trailer for a game you really like. You know what I mean? I think they're advertising um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You watch the video on YouTube and then at the end of the video, it says play now. You click the link and you can literally play a demo or a teaser of it or some, some sort and the best thing about stadia it's literally all online now the graphics they're using for it is they're actually using amd so yeah i did some digging and stadia is going to be launched some point don't know when but some point this year but there is a catch stadia is only going to be released to four different places in the world and those places are the usa Canada, the UK, and Europe. Now, the reason for this is, is because there is some requirements that go along with Stadia, like any other like games, console, anything like that. And basically you need a minimum of 25 to 30 megs per second to run Stadia. And I'm assuming that the rest of the world aren't on those levels of internet connectivity yet. And I thought Japan would be one of those pe pe people, but evidently not. So hopefully they should get it the year after early early sometime 2020 uh, but regarding pricing as well they've not actually you know disclosed on any sort of like price or like how much is it going to be or anything like that if it's going to be like a one-off payment or or whatever it's going to be we, we don't know yet but i assume it's probably going to be something like netflix you, you can rent it out or you pay like a monthly subscription which is good i suppose uh, obviously there is benefits and cons to it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the, in the comments. So uh, let's jump into the trailer, have a look, see what we see if we like it or not, see what it's all about. And yeah, we'll catch up in about a minute or two. From the beginning of time, games have brought us together. Players and spectators. By the handful, the hundreds and the thousands. We built stadiums. Places to gather around every kind of spectacle. Glory, tragedy, pageantry, community, rivalry, and wonder. Until every city, town, and village had a place where anyone could play. Thousands of years in, our games have changed. But our need to come together remains. This new era of gaming needs a new place to gather. One place where anything you dream can be built. Playgrounds for every imagination. One place where you and everyone you know and everyone they know will all play together. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, squad! One place that never stops evolving. Where everyone will play. Where did he come from? <laughs> and watch. Yes! High five! Right, bam! And create. Winner! Woo! Nice! <laughs> from any screen, at any time. One place for all the ways we play. This is Stadia. Gather out. If you really enjoyed that trailer of Stadia, I know I did. The one of the best things for me is the fact that you could do mobile gaming as well as you could use any controller. It was a big pro in my books. I think the other companies like Sony and Microsoft have a lot to step up to. Um, if you guys did like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and smash that bell button, and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next one. Peace.